Hey, Facebook peeps, how you doing? It is Friday morning, and I wanted to talk a bit about privilege because with all the race stuff going on and with all the social stuff and craziness going on uh, in the news and the media, that word privilege is getting thrown around a lot. And um, regardless of where you are from uh, in the U.S. or even what family you were born into, I, I take, um, I have a problem with that word just being thrown around, privilege, because it, it's so relative and it's so um, oversimplified, the word privilege. Here's the deal. How many of us know somebody who maybe was a great baseball player or a great athlete, but they were lazy? How many people know somebody who maybe was born to a rich or well-to-do family and got hooked on drugs or ended up broke in their own right or, you know, committed some crime. How many people of us know someone who just didn't live up to their full potential in general? Sport, academics, family. Um, those are all privileges, but they were squandered. And so I think as it pertains to what's going on and how people are using this word, they're using it in a very divisive way uh, that's unhealthy because, uh, you know, we live in the United States and, you know, even, even the hungry, even the hungry in our country don't starve. And that's not to say that, and that's, uh, that's not to say that we shouldn't help people who, who need help. And that's not to say that, um, we shouldn't do our best to be good citizens. That, that's not to say that, but I, I, but to wrap your head around that, the hungry do not starve. The poor people in our country still have iPhones. That's a trip, right? So have we been to South Africa or some places in Africa? I shouldn't say South Africa. Have we been to some places in South America or even just, I live in Carlsbad, just south by a hundred miles or so, 50 miles or so, in Mexico. Um, just being here is privileged. And so I get really tired of talking about how privilege is an excuse um, or how some people use the word privilege or the fact that I might be privileged or you might be privileged. Like that's, that's the reason why you're ahead. And it has nothing to do with the fact that you took advantage of your privilege. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, isn't that why my parents worked hard was to give me advantages that they didn't have. And isn't that why I'm working hard to give my kids and my family advantages that I didn't have? And isn't that why you work hard? It's all to create more advantage, which in my, which has been misconstrued as privilege. So I'm just trying to figure out why it's so noble all the time for someone, and it is noble for someone to come out, you know, to, to bootstrap themselves and come from nothing and make themselves into something for sure. But why is it like so discounted if you are somewhat privileged and happen to do something with that or do something more with that? Even a step further, what if you are privileged and do nothing with it? I think that's just as bad as not being privileged and using that as an excuse. I don't know. Those are my thoughts. So what am I doing? What I'm doing is I want to raise the level. I want to raise the level of conversation. I want to raise the level of performance. I want to raise the level of engagement. I want to raise the level of happiness um, with those in my world, with the world. And I think using these terms privileged and them versus us and uh, certain lives matter and all this other stuff. It's just, it grows tiresome. So I thank you guys for joining. I'm heading down to the Olympic training center because I want to raise the level of some athletes today. And, uh, you know, those are just my thoughts on a beautiful Friday, um, here in the United States of America. And, uh, I'm privileged and I'm proud of it, and you're privileged, and you should be proud of that too. And it has a lot more to do with money or the family you were born into. 
Look hard for your privilege and use that to your advantage. If you want to catch up with me, drjasonrichardson.com or on Twitter at Real Dr. J. Rich. And by the way, um, I do have a podcast launching in August, Gold Medal Mindset Podcast. So be on the lookout for that. I have been recording ferociously. Uh, have some really great guests lined up and have have, uh, have a few shows already mastered and recorded. So I want to launch strong and give you guys a lot to, to think on. And, and hopefully I can help raise the level. Take care and um, I love you guys. Peace.